This is just a quick video showing you how to use Siri, which is with a few examples of what it can do. Send a new email. To whom would you like to send this message? Michelle Berner. Gmail address for Berner Michelle. Home. Other. 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 What's the subject of the email? The weather. What would you like your email to say? Today is Thursday and it's cold outside, full stop. However, the sun might come out later, full stop. Here's your message to Berna Michelle. Ready to send it. Send. OK, I'll send it. All right, so let's have a look and see if it's been sent. We can go to the email, the Gmail. Reload it. There it is, the message, correct title. Let's see if uh, it can play a song from the music library. So double tap the home button. Play the song Skyfall. Here's Skyfall. Checking appointments. Let's see if I've got a couple of things in the calendar. Uh, So if I look for um, April the 15th, just see if it can find those appointments. What appointments have I got on April the 15th? You have a couple of appointments on the 15th of April 2013. Now you can also get it to give you directions, but... Uh, to do that, you need to have location services turned on because uh, Siri can't do it herself. So to ensure you have, just go into settings and privacy. Location services need to be on and you need to look for the Siri app and ensure that that's turned on. So once you've done that, if I'm going to ask directions on how do I get from where I live, home, to where I work, and whilst I don't work, I go to a... A, a venue regularly so I've been indicated that is the work address and you have to set that up in your contacts app first so there's my contact with all my relevant information that I that I might want to get Siri to to uh, follow for me so there's the the work the address it's like fuzzed out so you don't see them but I have to set that out up in contacts first so I'm going to ask Siri for directions on how I get from home to work. Directions on how to get from home to work. Getting directions from Berna Michelle. Home to Berna Michelle. Work. It'll open up the Maps app and give me the uh, suggested routes. So from there on, I can just use the Maps app to look at which one I want to go. If I want to go Route 2, which requires tolls, uh, yes I do, then I can get the directions. You can get it to open apps for you, if you, particularly if you've got a lot of apps and they're hard to find. And if there's more than one app with a similar name, it will give you a, a prompt as to which one you want to open. Open the app. Good reader. Okay, this one. Open the app notes. Which of these would you like? Notes, notes, or not as So with that one, I will just select the one I like. So that opens that app. Uh, let's try and create a reminder. 
Remind me today. Okay, just tell me what you want to be reminded about. To buy the milk. At what time shall I remind you? 4 p.m. Here's your reminder for today at 4 p.m. Confirm. Shall I create it? Confirm. Okay, I'll remind you. Open the app Reminders. So there's the uh, reminder already in there. So that's at four o'clock. That will give me a, a message and notification. So setting an alarm uh, to make sure this works. The alarms will appear in your clocks app. At the moment, I have no alarms in there at all. And create an alarm for 11.27 a.m. today. I set an alarm for 11.27 a.m. pretty soon. Now it's 11.25 a.m. at the moment, so we just did it uh, quite soon, just so we'd see what it would sound like. And if we go back to the Clocks app, there is an alarm now set for 11.27 a.m. today. So it's pause until the alarm occurs. There goes the alarm. And it's just going to keep on ringing until I click OK or snooze, which will just turn it off for a few seconds before it comes back on. Now I can turn them all off and go back to Siri. Delete all alarms. Are you sure you want to delete all your alarms? Yes. Okay, no more alarms. Alright, so you can see in the clock that's gone. That's going to set another one and uh, I want it to repeat every day. So instead of using my old alarm clock, digital radio, it's going to use the iPad. Set an alarm for 5.30 a.m. every day. Your alarm set for 5.30 a.m. starting tomorrow. You can see in the clock there, every day, 5.30 a.m. Once you've set an alarm, you can change the sound of the alarm by uh, going to the clock. It won't work in the sounds settings um, app. It doesn't seem to change anything, but I've got an alarm set for 5.30 a.m. every day. I could tap the edits and then the arrow. Uh, I can change the sound. I don't want marimba uh, and I think I want a digital. That should wake me up and save.